much Hannah from Creative Chaos in Tennessee and today I am back with another video for Scrap Timber and today we are doing selfie and so I have some selfie pictures I'm also combining this with mixed media mayhem because it's Friday y'all so this week's prompts are chipboard ink and paints been using lots of paints lately and I'm also combining this with the Iron Crafter Challenge, and this month was tags as our prompt. So, I took, and I, if you're on my group, you saw that I posted this. I recently got this Heidi Swap Sun Chaser um, paper pad. They have them at Dollar General for $5. $5, y'all. Um, and this actually is the good paper like it's not the real thin stuff this is actually a good good weight paper um, and it's super pretty so you could use it for lots of different things but I used it um, on for my page today and then I kept this really easy um, with embellishments and I pulled them all from these books now, I've had these books. There's three different ones. I've had them for a while now. I saw Janet Madison when she was going through her paper one time. And she took and showed these. And I thought I had to have them. And I don't even have... Um, I think these came... I think I got these on at Joann's online. Because there was no Joann's around me at that time. But... This one's die cut shapes, this one's a tag stack, and this one's a tag stack. And um, they are awesome for quick embellishment pages. Um, you can see I've cut a lot of them up to cut things off. But these were, they're awesome. And it has so much different um, things in them. Like, um, uh, I can't even think. But here's, here was all of these on this one. Um, occasions. There we go. Themes. <laughs> like, here's birthday. You could, like, just, and they just punch out. So, you could totally punch this out, and there's your page. Um, but you can see there's lots of them I haven't used, and I don't know that I ever will. When I get down, I've used up quite a bit of it. When I get down more... Oh, and these two came from the Dollar Tree. They're just things you can fussy cut. So, but I just wanted to show you guys this. I had someone ask about it once before whenever I used it, but I did get these online at Joann's. I've had them for a while, but um, it's great for cut-aparts. These, these don't pull apart. These you have to actually cut. But um, these are great cut-aparts, and they make making a page really quick and easy. So, um, today we're going to do a page, since it had to be selfies, of me. And, um, I know y'all don't see my face enough, right? <laughs> so, I decided to do, I have a bunch of random pictures of me eating, snacking. This is crumble cookies, Taco Bell, a pretzel at the mall, Taco Bell. All of these were took at different times and... I thought, you know what, I'm just going to put them all on. They're all the same theme, pretty much. Um, so I chose this paper and this paper. I also took this and I cut it up for what I'm going to do. I'm kind of just going to do a horizontal. I found this chipboard, um, these little chipboard corners in my stash. I don't have a lot of chipboard because I've got rid of a lot of it. And then I had these tags I pulled from the book and I just added some twine to them. And then I have all these little fun embellishments that I pulled from the book. And all these little titles. And then I spelled out snacks with the alphabets that was in one of those books. So literally all of the embellishments came from those books. And the paper came from the Sun Chaser collection. So all I added really was the chipboard and the photos. So I have to use paint. I'm going to use white today. And I'm going to use a big brush again. I've been enjoying using paint, um, which I normally wouldn't do. 
And I have this ink I'm going to use, Picked Raspberry, and I think I'm going to color my chipboard with it because I really couldn't think of another way to even fit in <laughs> the ink and the paint and the chipboard and all that stuff. So I'm going to move all this over so that I can use my paint. I don't make a mess, which I probably will anyways. Let's see if y'all are still in frame. Okay. Scoot it over a little bit. I'm trying to fix it so it's not casting shadows too. Okay. So, I'm just going to shake up my paint. This is just Plano White acrylic paint from Walmart. I just had a really big bottle of it because when I was painting rocks to hide, I um, needed a lot of it, and I was painting some signs. Okay, so since this is such a big bottle and a big paintbrush, I think I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in here, and I'm just going to paint straight onto the paper. I'm kind of going to do it just like I did the other day's um, layout. I don't want it like super covered. I like it just being streaky and still showing through. Let's see here. And I apologize if y'all hear coughing. Brooke is home sick. She has pneumonia. Like she's been out of school all week. She's pitiful. So y'all pray for my baby. And. Oh gosh. Okay. While I make a mess. And I'm just going to keep going. Because my photos. I'm just kind of doing a happy horizontal. And just adding some embellishments. So this one's a really easy layout. And a great way to incorporate a lot of pictures. If you have them. And someone asked on the other video. If I just paint. Um. Do I need a certain paper? I just paint on whatever. As long as it's like the thicker cardstock, not like the little bitty thin pattern paper, I just paint on it and it's fine. You might get a little bit of wrinkle, but once it dries, you can spritz the back and lay it back out and um, it'll be flat. Or you can, after it dries and you finish your layout, you can just set it on something, set something heavy on top of it until it dries. And you're good to go. So, I'm going to give this just a second to dry. And I'm going to wash out my paintbrush and wash my hands. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. It's mostly dry. I thought while we're waiting on it to dry, I will go ahead and color my chipboard pieces. So, I'm just going to take a... Um, probably shouldn't do it on top of this. Okay, I'm going to lay it over to the side for a second. I'm just going to lay this on here and rub my ink pad on top of it to use my inks. Uh oh, probably should have did it on a bigger scrap. And it don't have to be perfectly covered. I just want to get the color on there. And that's how I'm incorporating using my inks because you had to use inks and paint. fingers in the way <laughs> stopping me from getting coverage on there okay so now that's colored up so I use my ink I use paint that's gonna be my chipboard so I'm good to go on that front and then we have tag embellishments and what was my other thing? Oh, selfie. Okay, so I've got that. So I think that covers all the things we're supposed to be covering. Alright, so now all we're going to do is assemble. Make sure y'all are in frame. Okay. Now then. I'm going to put my 
papers down first. This was one sheet, and it has this cool little colored edge on it. And but it was only on one edge, and I cut it as long as I could. Um, but I had to use some that wasn't, but I cut it down to the same uh, width. So, just going to start gluing some stuff down. Like I said, I can always flatten this out afterwards, which I usually do. Make sure these are lined up. It feels nice to be able to be colorful today and not have to do <laughs> the monochromatic. Uh, I have had fun trying to create all those monochromatics this month, though. I have one left, and it's the black for Belize, I think. Um, so, it's going to be interesting to see how I can incorporate black on black for a layout. Oh, and you have to use, I think, a, a seashell. Or something like that. So, something crazy, y'all. Something crazy. Oh, my glue is getting stopped up. Okay, I'm going to put my photos down. Let's see, depending on the way it's going. You can tell these were all took randomly. Probably over, uh, I'm going to say these were probably, this one's, no, I don't know. This one's probably newer because I look bigger in it. So, it's a struggle. It's a struggle with the weight. <laughs> and we know why, because I love snacks. accidentally cut this picture when I was trimming. Apparently I must have trimmed that corner right off of that one. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing y'all. I was still half asleep when I was working on pulling out stuff of what I was going to use. And then I had to leave and go to a doctor's appointment and then I came back and so who knows what happened. Okay, I think I'm going to dry this, or I'm going to flatten it so that I can work, because it's driving me nuts, even though it doesn't look bad in on the video. I don't know if you can tell from this way, but it's pretty flippity-floppity. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back once again. I've got it straightened out mostly. <laughs> So, I'm going to add these little strips. I just cut down one of the other pieces into um, an inch strip just so I could add some more of that, um, the colors from the paper to kind of match what was going on up here on top. So, I'm just going to put these right here under the edge. Well, 
we go. Now we got it. A little bit more. Just hold it down. Okay. Then I'm going to put my corners on. I'm just going to put it on the corners of the one paper. I've got pink all over my fingers. There's that, and then I'm going to work on just adding all my little things here. I forgot I wasn't going to glue all the way. Just kidding, we're going to rip some of it up, and then I'll fix it. <laughs> okay, so I have these little tags that I thought I could just put up here, like this, along the top. Same thing over here. Pull some of that up. And then I'll go back and fix it. I need to just glue the edges. Okay, I have this. I think I'm going to put here as a little list. It's amazing to me how perfectly uh, that the paper from this collection goes with all these little embellishments that I have had for a long time. I know I've had them for at least two years. Okay, so I pulled favorite from that and then I have the letters that say snacks. Let's see. I think that's the rest of those. I got this that says sweet, and this that says yum. Okay, just gonna glue this on, and this. something I normally also don't do that's different. Um, usually I don't put a lot of words on a page. I like having my one title and then that's it. <laughs> so working a little bit outside the box for myself, which is a good thing. It's good to get out of the normal. Do something a little bit different. It's always fun to go see what everyone else creates also. Let's see. I'm going to put a favorite. And then <coughs> snacks. So let's see here. I do love some cookies and pretzels. <gasps> Sonic has such a good pretzel. I haven't had one in a while, but they put like this butter. I'm sure it's probably fake butter. <laughs> but they put like this butter sauce on it. Oh, oh, it's so good. If you get one that they cook fresh, so good. And cookies. Mm, I like soft cookies, but I'm not picky. And Taco Bell, <laughs> I got two of Taco Bell. Um, I actually probably have more pictures of me eating Taco Bell. Y'all know I love Mexican, like chips and salsa, but like Taco Bell is not real Mexican. Um, but I love it too. And I always get the um, steak grilled cheese burrito without, I always say without the spicy sauce. Because <laughs> I can never remember what the spicy sauce is. Um, and like, it's awesome. And I usually get it with double steak. Okay, 
I'm just going to put these little smileys down through here. I just thought they were fun and kind of represent my ever-changing mood, whatever I'm in the mood for that day. Have that. And then I have all these donuts. I do love me a good donut. I have some pictures of me with donuts also, but not on here. Not today. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do that. And then I have this taco that came out of the pack. And I'll probably cut it in half. And then put these along down here. Okay. I'm just going to cut it in half. Line my pages up. This one's, like I said, it's pretty, pretty fast to do. Oh, I have these two, this little pretzel. And some of these, I mean, when, when else am I going to use them? Like, really, um, you know, it's very, very specific. So, some of them I don't know when I would use, so this works out. I think I'll put that there. <laughs> Let's see. Got the heart here I want to put and maybe this one actually I think I'll put foam on that one give it a little dimension just to pop off of that one and let's see maybe that one there let's put it on foam Give it a little more dimension on here. This is a pretty flat layout. Um, I figure I will do my journaling and I'll write in like my snacks. And then on these tags if I want to, um, since I do have a little bit of spot, I might put what I said in the video. Sonic has the best pretzel. Um, other than the Auntie M's, we had those at... Uh, is that what it's called? Is it Auntie M's or Auntie something? Um, we had some fresh ones. We got to watch them make them and have them fresh whenever we went to Universal. Oh, oh my gosh. So good. Fresh out of the oven. Or whatever they're from. Deep fryer, oven. I'm not picky. <laughs> I'm not picky. I'll eat them. A warm pretzel. Awesome. Soft pretzels. Love it. Okay. I don't want to put that yellow one there. What about there? Okay. I think that looks good. So, like I said, you can see how quick it came together with all the embellishments. Um, what took the longest was just waiting for the paint to dry. But I feel like it adds to it so that it's not like... It helps focus in on the photos to tell the story versus having all the color from so many different things. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, check out the playlist below of everyone else playing along. And come over and join me on my Facebook group. And thank you guys for being here. And until next time, bye y'all.